Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Spark users encounter. Our viewer is looking for guidance on how to access the execution DAG from the Spark Web UI after a job has finished running, specifically when using Yarn as the resource manager. They mention that while they often analyze the DAG during execution, it can be frustrating to sit and watch the application. They've tried using the Spark History server, but are struggling to find the execution details they need. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how to effectively retrieve the execution DAG after a job completes. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To view the execution DAG of your Spark job after it has finished running on Yarn, you need to ensure that the Spark history server is properly configured. First, verify that the Spark History server is enabled in your Spark configuration. You can do this by checking the sparkdefaults.conf file. Next, make sure that your Spark job is logging events. This is crucial for the History server to display the execution DAC. After your job has completed, you can access the Spark History server by navigating to the URL with port 19080. Here, you should see a list of completed applications. Finally, click on the application you are interested in. This will take you to the Application Details page, where you can view the execution DAG. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the execution DAG from the Spark Web UI, after a job has finished running on Yarn, you need to do a bit more than just run the history server. First, ensure that event logging is enabled for your Spark jobs. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To get the execution DAG from the Spark Web UI after your job has finished running on Yarn, you need to configure three parameters in the sparkdefaults.conf file. Make sure the event log directory points to either a local file system or HDFS. For local, you can use paths like ops spark spark events. For HDFS, use paths like HDFS spark events. Start the Apache Spark history server using the command spark home slash start history server dash h. For Cloudera, use sudo service spark dash history server start. To stop the history server, use spark home slash spin stop history server h for Apache or sudo service spark hash history server stop for Cloudera. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.